Um, in terms of having the, the, all the technology available in a, in, in a single unit, it's a blessing because the, uh, these technologies are complementary. Uh, one complements the other. Uh, endoscopic ultrasound is an overall uh, image, will allow us to see um, outside the duct, inside the duct. We will see things that are impossible to see with uh, a spyglass uh, system. Uh, we can also obtain uh, tissue, uh, stage, and so on and so forth. Uh, spyglass will allow us to be much more specific in terms of intraductal pathology. So things that endoscopic ultrasound are not as good as like the fine detail of the mucosa or the biliary epithelium, biliary uh, uh, pancreatic epithelium, and so on, uh, then the spyglass will provide. So one supplements the other, complements the other, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's uh, uh, well said. Um, they're definitively complementary uh, modalities. Uh, going back to the whole cliche of the f forest and the trees, you know, sometimes a giant pancreatic mass you can see in the forest, and an EUS gives you that ability to sample that, but a small cholangiocarcinoma may not be easy to see when you're looking at the forest, and so requires a much more closer look with cholangioscopy and, and tissue sampling. And again, even with a pancreatic mass, sometimes we're not able, it's very hypocellular, we're not able to get adequate tissue with FNA. We, we have the ability then to look within the duct and use a different modality in conjunction to get tissue acquisition. I think one other aspect of, of the EUS question is also in areas where EUS is not available, and I think it's important to stress that the ability of spyglass to obtain tissue acquisition allows a practitioner who does ERCP without EUS to get tissue acquisition in pancreatic or biliary malignancies, whereas previously this may not be possible without referral. Yeah. 